What's going on guys, Alpha the Wizard back at it with another video. Today I have something really, really crazy to show you. So I woke up the other day and I had to go to the doctor and whatnot and it was taking a really, really long time. So I was scrolling Facebook and I saw a post about like Exodia from the anime. It wasn't like a deck or anything. But that got me thinking while I was waiting. I said, is Exodia viable in 2022? So I went to work. I went back to the lab. I started cooking up. And I have this little concoction. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive in. We are playing Exodia in 2022. So for starters, we are losing the rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Um, most people decide to go first. So my deck just gets cooked going second. <laughs> But he made me go first. And now we are going to see opening hand. I have Flashing Fire, Starter, a Iperia, Runic Tip, and Exodia, the Forbidden One. The opponent has Linkage, Mine, Demise, Evenly, and Imperm. All right, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start off with Starter. Starter, get blue. Take damage, then blue effect. That is going to get jet. And then we're going to go jet effect. Add starter. And then we're just going to go and overlay into gigantic, gigantic effect. He lets that resolve. And I have to tell you, if the opponent imperbs gigantic, it's just game for this deck for, in most cases because I use gigantic to, you'll see, you'll see. So I get to Gale Dogra, all right? And then we're just going to go Gale Dogra effect. That's just going to go ahead and dump Garura. Garura effect. Draw another piece of Exodia. Pay another 3K. Dump Kakalos. We're going to mill five. So, yeah, we milled pretty decent. We never want to mill Fountain in this, in this deck, um, but we did hit two Runic spells that I can shuffle. Um, opponent is probably so confused right now. He's like, why is he playing Pot of Avarice and what the heck is this card? Well, real quick, if you go, if you control two or more face of XYZ monsters, detach two materials from a monster you control and draw two cards. Yeah, that's pretty broken. So, we don't really have graveyard triggers, but we just go ahead and normal summon Iperia, draw a card, draw into a, another runic tip. So we just go ahead and activate runic tip to special summon. Why not? Because we still have flashing fire. And we're going to use effective Rugen, discarding the other tip to get another runic spell engrave, add fountain. And then we're just going to go ahead and overlay into mannequin cat. Opponent is probably like, okay, we can manage this. We activate Fountain, activate um, Flashing Fire to special. And then we're going to go Chain Link 1 Fountain, Chain Link 2 Rugen. We're going to discard the starter that we can't use. So we can add first and then shuffle. That way we don't run the risk of drawing the Fountain. And then we draw Destruction and Red. Oh, yeah, three, sorry. Uh, and Dispelling. So we're just comboing. Special Summon Red, Overlay Hoogan, and Ipera for Herald of the Pure Light. This basically, we can detach a material, target a monster in my graveyard, add it to my hand, then shuffle a card from my hand into the deck, which comes up when we're trying to loop the fountains because half the time we search them really quick. So if we put one back in the deck, we can Rugen discard a card. It's pretty cool. We need a discard outlet in this deck sometimes. So we go Fountain Effect, Activate Destruction to Summon. <laughs> He's probably so confused right now. He's like, uh, or actually, yeah, so I activated a new fountain so I can draw more cards. Put back three, draw three, and we have another piece of Exodia, guys. It is almost there. We, are, we almost have it. So we go Big Think. Link those into an elf. The main reason we probably did this is so now we have five monsters from the extra deck in our graveyard. 
And then we can just go Pot of Avarice, shuffle them all back. He's probably like, this dude's deck is so bad. And then we draw two. Oh my goodness, it gets better. And then we just go XYZ gift, detach two to draw two. All right, and this is why we need a discard outlet sometimes. So right now, we are in a position where we have two fountains in grave. So the only discard outlet we have is Hugin, and we drew Keldo. So if we mill Exodia pieces for whatever reason, we can shuffle them back. And we just go Elf Effect, bring out Gildagra, Link 2 into IP. And then we are just going to set Dispelling. End phase, discard Keldo. Okay, so we didn't FTK. Will we win, though? We have no more runic spells in Graveyard. No runic spells, but we do have Iperia. So, can we get there? 18 cards left in deck. Pass turn. The opponent is so confused. Main one. He tries to go to battle. I say thinking. He, I say still a main. Bring back the Iperia. Draw a free card. He said think on summon. I draw a monster gate. It's a bad draw right now. Then we just go IP effects. He's going to chain imperm, but I said elf. Go into Avermax. And then, he, this is where it gets fun. He activates the Demise of the Land on Summon. He's going to Chain Linkage. This card is relatively new. It's kind of cool, though. If I if you control no monsters, special summon. Uh, you cannot summon from the extra deck except Striker Monsters. Also, send one other card you control, which is Demise of the Land in this case. Uh, and a special summon a Sky Striker Ace from your extra deck. So, it's pretty cool. And then he activates mine. And then we're just going to go activate storm. So he's going to banish two. And then we get to resolve our fountain. Fountain effect. It puts back one. Exodia! Obliterates! That's crazy! We actually did Exodia! Exodia! Oh my god. This is actually crazy. The opponent is so mad right now. Exodia the Forbidden One. And that's just game. And then he left the duel. So this was only a game one. So I couldn't show you all the saws. Uh, but yeah, that was fun <laughs> and interesting. The opponent had to have been so confused. But yeah, so thank you all for watching the video. Uh, make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe down below. Tell me what you think about this innovation that like I crafted together. So um, with further, without further ado, uh, I will see you in the next one. And we are going to be up all night working on videos. So there's going to be plenty more content coming.